Hey everybody, welcome to my channel once again. Yesterday I got a telephone call and the person on the other line, they were saying that um, they invited me to an uh, interview. Um, I had submitted an application maybe about a few weeks, about two to three weeks ago. I totally forgot about it and they invited me to an interview. They were even asking me to come yesterday. So I said, well, you know, I didn't have my vehicle. So today would have been a, a great day to come to the interview. So I said, you know what? Um, so I made the appointment and for the interview for today, nine o'clock. So yesterday I said, you know what, I need to like organize my hair because sometimes if I don't pre prepare myself with my hair for the next day, I'm not too pleased, too, too pleased with how it looks. So I, I, comb, I took my time, I combed out my hair. I had some, um, I had, my hair was like a twist out, but I had wrapped it up before. So I um, did the wrap and then I combed out my hair properly. I took my time and I combed and brushed out my hair. So after I did that, I took some crazy photographs, um, some silly photographs with my hair open out like a crazy woman. So I'll show you some pictures that I took off right, right now. So I took the pictures and um, I combed all the hair like I said and I applied some moisturizer and then I twisted it some big some big twists all right the idea was to have it like this pull it back in one and do my little bun thingy that i normally do i did a video before how i do this but I'll, I'll leave a link for it here so go check out how i did this bun how i create this bun anyway i did my prep um last night um and that was what i did the prep for the interview last night so this morning now i got up and uh, my regular time i didn't really make any extra extra effort to get up early as a matter of fact i got up I jumped out of the bed because my husband got up and he went to the bathroom and shower and I went back to sleep. And when he came out of the shower, I jumped up because I was in a, I was dreaming, right? And um, I thought, you know, shocked, I should have gotten up early and prepared myself for this to get my clothes ready and everything. Anyway, I had enough time to prepare, prepare breakfast and everything and um, went on the computer as usual, spent about 20 minutes. <laughs> and then I decided to look at, to get my clothes together. So... The first thing I did was I put on my pants, uh, my pants that I have worn for a year. Um, I'm, I'm, home, I'm working from home now since 2015. So I haven't worn this pants like a year and two months, right? And it fit, yay! <laughs> the pants fit, a black pants, long pants. Um, it fit no problem. The waist was perfect, the hips, the butt, everything fit perfect. You know, sometimes when you're working from home and you don't really wear these things regular, I thought I would have put on weight, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, I'm glad I'm did, I didn't put on any ex extra weight. My pants fit perfect. The next thing was um, I put on a top, uh, this white top. And um, all these clothes that I haven't worn for a long time. And it's in my cupboard. So when I, when I put on the top now, there was like some dust on the shoulder. This is from where it was hanging up in the closet. And in my area where my closet, uh, the dust comes in and it rests on the hanger, on the blouses and stuff, right? Now, if I had checked this yesterday before, I would be able to rinse out the shirt and probably iron it or whatever, just, or just hang it up and it would be good for today. This shirt doesn't really need any ironing, really. Not in my pants. My pants, I just put it on and I'm good to go. That's how I like to wear my pants for work. Anyway, the first shirt that I put on, it had a little, little dust spots on it. I took it off, put it in the, in the, in the um, clothes basket, laundry basket to wash. Second shirt, same thing. Now, by this time, I'm, I'm running out of time. <laughs> So I said, no, I need to use the same shoes. So I took a damp piece of cloth and I basically wiped all the shoes and I was happy with that. Um, so I wore the shirt, the shirt and the slacks. And my hair, well, my hair was no problem because I said, I, I started the day before. So I basically combed it out and did my wrap thing. I put a little gel to the top. I think I may have put, um, the, my hair looks a little white to the top, but you know what? At least my hair was tidy. Anyway. So I did my hair, had the shirt that I was satisfied with, and I had my socks on. So my bag was already packed. I just basically put whatever I needed and um, put it in my bag. So on my way out, I grabbed my bag. Um, I left the house maybe about 8 30. Grabbed my bag, um, left the house. I was approaching the car now. I look at my pants. The hem is, is coming down. <laughs> <laughs> really? Now, it, you know, sometimes you know your hem will come down in a way that it, but it wouldn't fully be out. The way how my hem was done it was totally out, basically like you know one one side of my pants length was longer than the other side. So I rushed back inside. I took some pins and just basically <laughs> put 
pen of the pants a bit the hem so I did it the way at the way that you know, can barely see the pins. So I said hey I'll, nobody will look at my, my, my the hem of my pants right so I did I did that and I went back out to the house and left and left for my meeting luckily um there's not much traffic I live on a small island there's not much traffic so I was able to get there on time um I got there maybe about 10 to 9 but I had to wait about a whole hour before I was interviewed but in the meantime I had my little book uh, my little journal book I did some entries to make up some time and just kind of recollect my thoughts and I was cool and calm I was appreciative of that I was cool and calm for my interview the interview went pretty well so with all that happened today I decided I will do this video I just came back from town and I said as my thoughts are here I'm gonna do this video and share with you guys some tips of for what to do when preparing for if you have an important meeting meeting to attend or maybe an interview like me tip number one if you are uh, if you have natural hair or any it doesn't matter if what type of hair you have right if it's an important meeting an important interview um you may want to, the day before maybe you may want to, to wash your hair style it um you know set it wrap it twist it like whatever you have to do like me but do whatever you need to do to have your hair looking have a good hair day bottom line that's number one tip number two prepare your clothes the day before very important <laughs> go to your closet actually decide what you want what to what to what you want to wear go to your closet and take off what it is you want to wear try them on make sure they fit properly um if in any they need to be washed iron because in my instance like i said i'm working from home for a little while and um, if your clothes are in the closet for a long period of time, they have a tendency to smell a bit frowsy or old sort of smell. Not an unpleasant smell, really. Unpleasant smell. So you may, you may want to give it a little, a little light rinse and um, rinse it down, wash out your clothes and um, iron it if you may have to. And maybe hang it up outside of your closet. Don't put it inside because if you put it back in the closet, it may get more wrinkled again. So have your clothes ready or, or whatever you want to wear. Bam, I'm wearing this. So when you get up the next morning, you know what you're going to wear. Maybe you want to put out your jewelry, your underwear, everything, put everything in place so you know how you have everything is all set. <clears throat> that was number tip two. number three. Pack your bag. You may if for whatever put whatever you need for your meeting. If it's your meeting or if it's for your interview, what put whatever you need in your in your bag. This is basically a tip for females. Um just basically get everything ready for whatever you, you need to have for this interview or if it's a meeting you're, you're going to attend to um right tip number four on the day of the of your meeting or interview get up early get up early have a nice little breakfast and if you have a long commute to where your destination um this time it all depends on if you're taking public transportation or if you have your own vehicle but get up early so you could get to a destination in time you have something to eat get ready and be on your way for your for your for your appointment um and like i said now the time let's say you have you're in an area where there's a lot of traffic right um that timing um maybe an hour two hours and then just cater that you may have to wait for to be interviewed that all the time is passing so i suggest that you have something to eat like for instance today um by the time but uh, after i had my interview I was also given a, a little short, how you say boy, um, young lady who was, she's going to maternity to leave so they need somebody to fill her position. So I sat with her for a few minutes and she was showing me basically what she's doing. And while she was doing that, my belly was grumbling. <laughs> I, I had breakfast but it was, was like a, a, what I call a sad roti. I just one quarter of it and a cup of tea and it was quite small. So normally that, that doesn't really suffice me for that long so by the time that <laughs> is my belly started to growl it was time to have something to eat so my suggestion is have a little breakfast have maybe something a cup of tea or coffee whatever you drink before um you go to your meeting um and just remember do whatever you need to do to get to a meeting on time you telling your interviewer that you're late because you um you you were in a lot of traffic is a waste of time it just makes you look bad so just do what you need to do to get there on time okay tip number five review what um, let's say if you're going to a meeting review what is going to be discussed do all this of this the night before review what you need to what the meeting is going to be about get all your thoughts together and 
put your, your data, whatever, everything together. And on the day of the meeting, now while waiting, you can still just simply review again, do a final revision in your mind what um, you're going to discuss in your meeting. And if it's an interview, just basically, you know, recollect yourself, try and do some meditation, kind of keep yourself in calm, and you don't really want to appear too nervous, because even though some people, no matter how they try, they still feel a little nervous in a meeting, you know, because you're, you're a little nervous how to present yourself. And just do your best, you know, and portray yourself as best as you can in your meeting. And this final tip, a very important tip, in the time of the meeting, a matter of fact, as long as you've got you at the location of the the meeting, um, even though more, everybody have a cell phone now, right? Um, even though, let's say before the meeting, even though your phone is on, maybe turn down the volume. You can still do what you need to do, send your emails or whatever, but keep your volume at low. Because remember, there'll be other people surrounding the workers of, um, of that company. They'll be watching you as well and see how you're performing. So just make sure you present yourself in a good way. On At the meeting or at the interview, switch off your phone. Or if not, switch off the phone, turn, the for, turn down the volume of that phone and then keep it the volume low. The worst thing is to have your phone ringing every minute or beep, or you hear beep, beep, maybe I get a message from, from a Facebook or whatever and it's keep going, on, going off on your meeting. That's, that is not a good thing to happen. It gives you, it uh, portrays you, put you in a bad note for your interviewer. I remember a friend of mine, she, um, she actually not a friend of mine, was an ex-employer. She was telling me that um, she was uh, interviewing a young lady and this young lady, she came in her cell phone and while uh, at the interview, her phone rang and she answered the phone, you know, and you don't do those things when you have that, you had the interview right away you lost your job if you're going to get the job you lost your job you know what i mean you don't you can't have your phone like ringing and you answer the phone at the interview no 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 you don't do things like that there are certain etiquette um things that you should do at a meeting turn off your phone don't answer the phone don't like this because the boss will be thinking that okay is this how they're going to perform if i employ them every 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 minute they will be on their phone for a personal phone call no or every minute they're on facebook or, or instagram or whatever no that wouldn't work so you know even though you are into that don't portray that all right i think this video is quite long um it's when i went outside this morning and i noticed the hem of my pants was down i say hey this is some good content for a video this morning so <laughs> i took my notes while i was waiting for the meeting i took my notes and as i was coming back home i was just going through the thoughts of what i'm going to say because i really thought i had to do a video about this what happened to me this morning and I thought I would share it with you guys and provide some tips. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to add anything to it, let me know. Leave a comment for me in the description box below and um, in the comment area below. I'll be happy to hear what you have to say. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.